Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel You beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself A wonderful day guys It's been a long time Since we re uh, last reacted To some TNI videos So in today's video We'll be reacting To the full parade That took place About two months ago I believe It was uploaded By copassus.com And the link is in description uh, So without further ado Let's get started with this video Hadirin yang kami hormati Sesaat lagi Akan kita saksikan bersama Oh nice Mr. President or Prime Minister is there Jokowi And the generals The Secret Service Oh there you go This is uh, starting with the police Or maybe this is military police Yes Police militer. Puspom angkatan laut dan puspom angkatan udara. Ikat Mitsubishi, Toyota. 2018 digunakan untuk pengawalan protokol air kenegaraan. Toyota SUVs, Mitsubishi SUVs, and then oh those cars I love it, man. I didn't get to see them. I saw some TNI guys actually in uh, Solo by the uh, stadium. And I was like TNA and I waved at them, they were smiling and waving, it was pretty cool. Oh, that's a big screen, look at that! It's huge! And this is in Jakarta. Oh, you know what? This was Hala the Parade when I was there. Oh man, because I remember they had this stage and stuff set up. Uh, but I just wasn't sure what it was for. It was literally it was happening so far when I was there. Wow, I love those cars. Like they look like the Hummer. Mm. He not bad too. Ooh. Those are the, the generals, I think, is explaining to them about the new technology, maybe the new cars, like, sir, this one is bulletproof, that one, we shoot people off. <laughs> the gun is like uh, 100 rounds per minute. <laughs> Satu unit PGDL adalah kendaraan khusus pertempuran nice. jarak cepat milik Satuan Kopasso. Kopasso. Oh, this one has like a rocket, or maybe it's a those things uh, with a rope that gets attached to stuff. Yeah, I think so. That's probably what it is. Oh, there comes the boat. Oh, with the commandos all in black, face painted, and everything. This one, I'll tell you guys. Most likely, it's either giving them service or it's a jamming device. It jams communication of anything else that's happening around them so then they can carry on with their own communication. Nobody else can jam them. That one looks like a Hummer, full uh, carrier. Look at that um, air filter, so it's higher. That way the car can go, the engine can be underwater and it can still suck in air and it doesn't flood the engine. That's a GPS uh, tracker, so you can see where your boats are at all times. Some of these stuff, guys, I know a little bit. Alhamdulillah. Some of them, uh, I don't have. I have no idea. <laughs> Not some. I guess I can say most of them. I have no idea, but some I know. Because I used to work for the Canadian Coast Guard here in Canada, and I had done some installation of those GPS trackers. Uh, and usually the antenna is like that, pretty big. Oh, those are more uh, personal carriers. I think they call them APC, um, armored personal carrier. Oh no, it was actually not at that time. It was, it was October 5th. That's at least what it says at the bottom. And that was there actually in November 22nd. So it's kind of almost like a month and like 20-ish, 18-ish days-ish. 
Perubahan varian anual yang diperlukan wow. dari Pemuda selanjutnya, tiga unit Panzer Anwar, 6 kali 6 komando, buatan PT Pinder. I saw a lot of uh, army like buildings in Jakarta. There's a quite a bit. That's the kind of like I guess the ambulance or the medics. I guess they would call them the most uh, appropriate name for them is the medic team. Oh, this is oh, that's those uh, rocket launchers. Selanjutnya, dua unit Spider Excavator adalah salah satu alat berat khusus yang dimiliki oleh Zemi Konstruksi Angkatan Darat. Selanjutnya, Looks like these tiga bigger unit cars coming Astros now. adalah kendaraan buatan Brazil. Memiliki jangkauan jarak capai 100 km dan bisa menghancurkan sasaran seluas 500 sampai dengan 1,5 km. That's pretty weird. This thing. Melintas oh, I know I think what it is. That's uh, it turns into I think like a bridge where, where there's water like if they want to cross a river I think these are the ones that they open. Um, and then yeah I think that makes it like a bridge and other cars can drive over it. They float. That's why it looks like that and I think it's sealed so it's uh, waterproof. Okay, some tanks. More tanks. These equipment could uh, really be useful right now and then somewhere that I know. But no means all the way. That's a lot, man. It just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. <laughs> And that's probably not even all of what they have, just, you know, a portion, like, or maybe like a few percent of what this, uh, what they have, and they just bring a couple of each just to kind of show. Uh, but the rest probably, you know, like they're all in different depots and, and places and armories. These different tanks, this one doesn't have the cannon, that one has. You can see, right, the, the front. Hadirin yang berbahagia, sesaat lagi akan kita saksikan defile alutsista TNI Angkatan Laut. Merupakan gabungan dari kekuatan sistem senjata Ooh, armada terpadu so yang terdiri dari kekuatan so pasukan that, KRI, pesawat udara, marinir dan pangkalan yang dipimpin oleh Komandan Gugus Tempur Laut Suara Mata Satu bersama nama pertama TNI, Muhammad Taufik MMDS yang terdiri dari Kendaraan Tatrapan dibuat pada tahun 2015 dan masuk ke Indonesia That's why they were in this call because they're like We're not playing around man If it becomes our turn And annihilate that area with these rockets Look at that Yorkon 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 Here's the other general Berikutnya Torpedo Sat Buatan Jerman dengan jarak jangkauan 80 km Arsenal TNI Yes, yes, it's all TNI's Arsenal Look at their basement, man It makes it look scary as hell You don't want to see these guys out on the field, you know? They're like uh, psychological warfare too Because they scare the enemy If you see them like coming out of somewhere, like Wow. Oh, look at the other ones, all fly. That's the uh, scuba team. That's uh, more of like a swamp. With the fan in the back. They even have boats all black. Satu unit Sea Rider membawa wow. satu tim Kopaska dalam operasi VBSS atau Visit Port Search and Seizure. Look at those guns. Oh, because lots of boats, lots of ships. Obviously, because Kuala and Indonesia has like 17,500 islands, so 
you know they have to be out and about uh, out in the water that's again a, maybe like Selanjutnya, a communication vehicle I think when there is an event or something they park and they extend it the antenna um, then it gives them uh, communication whether it is for example between themselves or even outside like internet or satellite or whatever it might be digital direction vendor 550 Digital Direction Fender 550 merupakan kendaraan komunikasi dan elektronika. Selanjutnya, dua unit mobil Hyperbaric Chamber dan satu unit EOD atau Explosive Ordnance Disposal yang merupakan kendaraan untuk There's recovery the para penyelam. Extends, probably. Berikutnya, Hyperbaric Chamber masuk di jajaran Corps Marinir tahun 2023. EOC. I saw an EOC. I think that's an emergency operations center. That's where they're probably their main communication would be in case of an operation. So there was that one vehicle, which would be like the generals would sit, and that's where they would give the command. Uh, and those are the towers where they will extend it, so that way, you know, out in the field, they can project and, and send information. Selanjutnya right? melintas dua unit alligator yang masuk di Indonesia pada tahun 2018. That does look like an alligator with Melintas all those teeth. Melintas selanjutnya, dua unit MRLS Vampire, dua unit RM70 Grade, dan dua unit Corrid Gold. Wow. How does one go to meet Mr. Jacoby? Like, uh, if I wanted to meet him, are you guys, any of you can uh, make that happen? DTR4. I'd love to see if I can have a chance to solo meet him. Um, I have a request to make. There's a lot of Afghan refugees in, in Indonesia, but unfortunately they, ha they don't have the option to work. So I'd love to ask him, uh, request him if he's able to allow them to work. Because Afghans, you know, we, we are people that we don't want to live somewhere for free if we can. We will work. And, you know, we're hardworking people. And a lot of them right now that live in Indonesia are a little bit suffering and having hard times. So I'd love to, you know, get a chance, if I had a chance to meet them and make that request so it can make it easier for our brothers and sisters. Uh, that are from Afghanistan final destination which for most of them is uh, Australia mengikuti di belakangnya this general also has a lot of uh, metal. There comes the tanks. What the heck is that? Selanjutnya empat unit LVT tujuh A satu yang dibuat pada tahun seribu sembilan ratus delapan puluh empat. Like this one, I don't know. Mari lah kita saksikan bersama. Yeah, it's like an armor, but you don't see that like other places. Melintas di hadapan kita. Oh, they had loved that car. Merupakan so cool. platform kendaraan perang kota multifungsi. More rocket. Berikutnya, kendaraan taktis serbu Altera SOPH B6 atap buatan Indonesia. Selanjutnya, Indonesia Light Strike Vehicle dan P2 Komando. Kendaraan khusus serbuan Oh, there you go. SKM. The generals they change. P2 I think when it's like let's say army, PC when it's navy, when their turn comes, then they go closer to the prime minister or the president and then kind of explain what it is here. Other communication, you see, they have the satellite, they have the dishes. I think that's satellite communication, so they can shift and uh, give uh, send communication and get also um, data links. GPS dan radio jammer. There you go. GPS jammers. So. Selanjutnya ratus GP. Digunakan tim dal perkopan. So they have uh, nowadays it's important to also have a lot of like uh, communication jammers, and that's how they jam, for example, GPS because rockets uh, use GPS uh, basically signals to be able to go to specific area, and then also to jam communication of other uh, like for example let's say your enemy and as well as drones they use those jammers to be able to take control of uh, uh, drones and be able to either land them or for example get them to crash somewhere else if it's like those uh, kamikaze drones
This is more of kind of like they're just regular like police car to some extent nothing special maybe just you know carrying personnel but these this one the small one at the front but it looks like they have actually antenna too so it, that's probably uh, a communication vehicle this one is uh, a party vehicle <laughs> that's where they're singing from <laughs> Jenderal TNI Dr. Dudung Abdurrahman guna menikahkan moral prajurit. <laughs> That's when <laughs> the um, army personnel are taking a break. That's when they give out the they park that and give give out a concert. <laughs> oh my God! I'll I'll get dizzy standing and then the cars over. <laughs> Even the prime minister, the president, he's laughing like. Damn. <laughs> there we go more more heavy vehicles and there we go here comes more boats what's that a drone oh that's a rocket that's what i haven't seen man in indonesia i haven't seen a lot of drones I'm surprised because uh, Turkey, Bayraktar, as you guys might know, makes a lot of drones, but in so far, like the parades that I've seen, I haven't seen drones in, in Malay, like in TNI's uh, arsenal. They have a lot of like, you know, boats and rockets, and, and I think that was a drone. I might have just uh, jinxed myself to some extent or foreshadowed what was coming here is the drones because nowadays the 2023-2024 you have to have drones to be able to do anything you know? follow the, the um, world military getting smarter and smarter and things are becoming more um, remote controlled rather than you know having people in it like airplanes for example the use of drones or even drone boats right Ukraine was using it with Russia and uh, soon enough there's gonna be like actual Marines that are gonna be robots that's the reality of things there you go more jammers here's the other one Nubika. Oh wow, what's that? That opens up sideways. Oh, that's a pretty small car when you look at it from the front. But then look how big it opens up. This is oh, this is the uh, the feeding, the kitchen. There you go. Another general that's in charge of uh, this area is explaining what's going on what is that uh, what do they specialize oh there's people on top of that truck that's cool oh here comes a motorcycle nice. these are gangster motorcycles too Look at those sharks! Oh. Wow! Here's more communication. Looks like you see those little round things, and also the dish. All of those source of communication, either to get communication, to jam communication, to send communication. There you go. That's awesome. Yang memiliki fungsi sebagai kendaraan lapis oh. baja untuk angkut pasukan mendekati sasaran. Oh, Lee, there's a quite a bit of them that have uh, people on top chilling. <laughs> oh, they're uh, playing Indonesia, Indonesia, America. Hello, it's uh, brother. I think is from Papua. It's 
probably maybe uh, TNI members as well as their family probably. Oh, these cars are like old cars. World War II looking army cars. These ones that the, the front folds, the windshields like uh, I think old school jeeps. No top and you get rid of the windshield too, man. Imagine driving that on the highway. All the bugs would hit your face. Oh my god. That's only for slow speed in summer. Actually, Indonesian also is always warm, so it's good um, to if you have it to drive around the city. But yeah, if you're going like faster than 20, 30 kilometers, it's gonna be a nightmare unless you have like a helmet with a face shield or something. I was driving the motorcycle and I had the the windshield or like the cover off. And so hung like stuff was going my eye and it was so hard because of the wind to see so imagine like uh, you know driving the car tni long live the tni look at a different uh, uniform that shows i guess the, the the army the navy and what else do they call those the air force that's probably the difference because we got uh, most likely probably the brown one is army the blue one is the navy and the white one is air force but if i'm wrong i'd love to know guys in the comment section correct me please or if you know exactly which color is for what please include it in the comment section i'd love to uh, you know Learn. Oh, another one car, look at that. The guys in the back with red ties and glasses, those are the Secret Service. They're uh, basically the president's um, security guards. Now time for the, looks like the, the what you might call it, the uh, Navy. They have in the, uh, the screen. You know on the right hand side, that's uh, Masjid Istiqla, that's where I was. And it's, this area is so close Paula, to, to where I was. And like I said, I saw those stages set up, but I think maybe it was left out, left over of the, the parade. And I was asking around, nobody knew what was going on. That's a frigid, frigid. That's what's the spinning on top. That's the, um, what you call it, what they call that. I guess that's the... A navigation system like the GPS that's what shows you um, around it rotates but it, it every rotation it upgrades like or it, it updates and refreshes and shows you the closest uh, like basically boats airplanes um, and then when you see them you're able to tell there how far they are because what it does is almost sends a signal and then it listens for the signal so when uh, the signal goes and touches something metallic it bounces back and then it calculates um, the distance um, how far it is which is pretty cool that's the waters of uh, jakarta so you see this part of indonesia Spongla, the water is different as you can see uh, all the waters i think around jakarta are not that um, clear but you know when you go to bali and some other areas it's like prestige beaches like clear sand and like beautiful waters oh man it's like you just want to live there wake up every day and then have like a coconut fresh coconut drink with you and have some satay that's like <laughs> submarine this is the kopasus tv and it finished
pretty cool man it's awesome to see every time uh, you know they bring in cool new equipment and gear alhamdulillah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless uh, T&I and, I and um, help them to grow even stronger so they can protect the people of Indonesia there are evil people you know everywhere and if the security services, uh, services is not strong you know people will try to harm the, the um, you know citizens and and usually it's just the civilians that uh, pay the most amount of the the price when when people do stupid and, and bad stuff so you know alhamdulillah that they are strong they're able to protect uh, Indonesians as well as uh, the country and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and protect them and guide them and help them to even uh, be uh, stronger so guys if you have any other cool videos please put in the comment section below if you guys like this one then don't forget to smash that like button and then also leave a comment section in the comment section below and if you haven't consider subscribing so thank you very much guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day until the next video i hope you guys take care of yourself and your family and i'll see you then take care and wassalam